Cape Town, the mother city, a tale of two cities, a place populated by the haves and the have-nots, one that continues to be tainted by apartheid spatial planning and development. These inequalities are now even more visible as the city faces a peak in infections next month. It has a population of more than 5 million, of which about 80% are black and of mixed race, but currently it carries more than 60% of the country and 10% of Africa's total number of cases. This map clearly shows all the hotspots in the city where people live in abject poverty. 26 years after the fall of apartheid, nothing has changed for many living in the city, creating a situation ripe for disaster. The majority of people live in squalor and live in fairly close proximity to others and therefore live in high dense slave populated areas. The idea of social distancing, of regular hand washing, what the health scientists have called comorbidities, for example, pre-existing diseases like asthma, and we all have family members who have asthma, who have respiratory tract diseases, who have type 2 diabetes, who has, who's obese, who's predisposed to complications like from the COVID-19 coronavirus infection. Kailicha, a shanty town of nearly half a million, is one of Cape Town's hotspots. A field hospital has been constructed to increase the capacity of Kailicha District Hospital and should open by next week, according to Doctors Without Borders. Cape Town is expected to reach its peak of cases around the end of June, while the rest of South Africa is expected to peak around September. According to scientists advising government, South Africa may see between 14,000 to 45,000 deaths by November. And by year's end, some 13 million of South Africa's 57 million people could be infected. Johan Abrams for BRICS TV in Cape Town. Thank you.